Welcome to the Generation Elevation Podcast, a conscious, connected platform for those who are ready to manifest their dream life. I'm your host, Elise Riley, a former PT, now motivational speaker, igniting empowerment and transformation all across the globe. Here at Generation Elevation, we are committed to bringing you the most inspiring guests who will share their stories, wisdom, and advice to help you progress closer to living a life of your own terms. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I cannot wait to tell you about Paris. Okay. Okay. So for those of you listening to this episode, hello. Welcome to my show, Generation Elevation. In the last episode, I spoke on my adventures going to Croatia and then launching my website in Rome. And I just also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who supported my website launch. Thank you for purchasing my meditations. And also for those of you that signed on to Manifestation Mastery, wow this is so exciting this is like my biggest project that I have ever launched in my life and so much effort and passion and love has gone into this course and I cannot wait to fully launch it on the Lionsgate portal which is like an energetic portal vortex for manifestation on the 8th of August. So if you're also keen to learn more about this, you can also head to my website. I have manifestation mastery up on there or go to the link in my bio. Know that when you purchase a 10 pack of meditations from my website, you get a code directly emailed to you that allows you to save 90% off the Manifestation Mastery course. It is so worth it. It's the biggest discount that I've ever done in my life. But I also just want to give back to you guys because like I said in last episode and also my story on Instagram, I would not be where I am today without the support and love from you guys. So I just wanted to be able to give back and give back in a big way. So make sure if you are keen, you feel energetically pulled towards doing that course, then I would highly recommend, like I said, this is the biggest course thing that I've ever done and so much effort time on my end has gone into this and I cannot wait to get it out there and share it with you all. So like I said, Last episode was all about my adventures in Croatia and Rome. And then I promised you all I would give you a Paris update. Oh my gosh. 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 Okay. I'm like a chronological in order type of gal and I need to tell a story from start to finish. Like I can't just, I can't do the end of the story and then the start. Just, I just can't. Oh my God. If you have not listened to last week's episode, please go do that and then come and listen to this because it all ties in. It all ties in. It's all perfect. Okay. So where I left off, I left Rome and then jumped on a flight to Paris. Now in my visions for myself in meditations, I've always seen myself at a cafe near the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And I kid you not, at the start of the year, I went to a psychic festival workshop thing. And I think I spoke about this in a previous episode, but if I didn't, here you go. I went to a workshop with my friend. She was speaking there. And so I just kind of was like floating around and I was so exhausted that day. I was like, I didn't really want to be there. I was just like, yeah, I'm here for the support. I'm here to be the friend today. Anyway, she gets me to come along to do this workshop with her. I'm like, oh, I really am not in the mood, but that's okay. We're here. And anyway, the exercise was the lady put on the whiteboard coordinates, coordinates of a place in the world. 
And guys, like, I wish I could say that I knew a lot of stuff about coordinates and things, but I really don't. Like, it was just a bunch of numbers to me. And I looked at the board and I was like, well, there's no way I'm going to logistically figure this out without looking at my maps or whatever. And the rule was you weren't allowed to look at your maps. You had to use your psychic gifts, your senses, what you can see, hear, touch, taste, feel, know, to figure out where in the world this coordinates, this destination was, where the coordinates were leading to. And so for me, what come through was the smells of like pastries. It was busy. I could hear traffic. I could hear like taxis, people. And then I was like, oh my God, it's the Eiffel Tower. So I was like, Eiffel Tower. She was like, yes, it's that. It's the Eiffel Tower. I was like, okay. And I thought, oh, maybe it's just a fluke, right? So then she did another one. She's like, okay, put coordinates down and we did it again. What can you hear, smell, taste, touch, see? And I was like, okay, it's nature, it's quiet, it's outside, it's peaceful. And no one was guessing it. No one could get it. And to my mind's eye, this big picture of Uluru comes to my mind as rock. And I was like, Uluru. And she's like, yes, that's it. And Everyone was kind of looking at me like, oh my gosh, like she's so magic. And I was like, I don't know I could do that. So that was a really cool process. And I share that with you because it was Paris. And I was like, huh, of course, because it was all leading me to my amazing trip, right? And several times I've had little synchronicities be like, yep, yeah, Paris, yep, yeah, Paris, yep, yeah, Paris. And I just had a feeling, like a feeling that I was going to Paris at the end of July. I just knew it. And I knew as well that I was going to meet someone over there. And I didn't know what that meant specifically. I just had a strong feeling I was going to meet someone over there and it was going to be in Paris. I didn't know if that was romantic. I didn't know if that was friends. I didn't know if I knew them. I didn't. I was just like, I just know that's the message that I have received in my meditation. So I'm just going to go with the flow and, and see what happens. Anyway, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. Okay, I get to Paris and I'm just chilling in my little hotel that I booked for myself and I'm just so proud. Like for all of you entrepreneurs and coaches out there, I'm sure you'll be able to resonate when I say like when you work for yourself, sometimes it's so easy to just keep working and go, oh, like, You've achieved a financial goal. You set yourself a benchmark and you did it. And then you're like, all right, what's next? I'll keep going. I'll keep going. I'll keep working. I'll keep working. It's so easy. You've always got something to do. And when we get in that, sometimes we can forget about these moments where we can take a break and go on a holiday. Like this is probably the first holidays that I've really like invested in and taken myself on uh, apart from like London and Croatia was probably the first time for me and that's huge and I definitely from this whole month this whole experience I'm like okay I'm doing this more 100% so anyway I was just in this in the fields in my little hotel because it was such a vibe amazing views I'm like this is the best and then I'm like all right what do I need to do I had people recommend go to galleries Lafayette because at the rooftop right they have like this beautiful view overlooking the whole of Paris and Galleries Lafayette is kind of like Harrods or it's like a very bougie luxe high point or uh, Chadston right for my Melbourne fans essentially like write these things down if you go to Paris I'm just giving you my itinerary here. So did that, saw the view, got the photo, got the shot. Then I went to the Arc de Triomphe and climbed the tower, which is like this big monument in the middle of the city. Climbed up there, got more photos, had a look at the view. And it was a beautiful day. I was like, this is so cool. And then from there... I had met of Aussies the previous night in Rome who mentioned you've got to go to this cafe. It's famous for their hot chocolate. So I'm like, all right. So I go to this cafe and I'm sitting there. I'm having my hot chocolate with whipped cream and having this pastry thing that I would never order in Australia or in like my day to day. But I was like, 
fuck it. <laughs> I'm in Paris. Anyway, the waiter slips me his phone number. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this the person that I'm going to meet? Anyway, I was like, oh, like, I don't know. I kind of really want to live out my Paris dream of being under the Eiffel Tower, having a picnic and just like I brought my journal and I kind of wanted to just like date myself, you know. So I just left the cafe and I messaged the guy and I just said, thank you. But that was all. And he was not happy about that. But that is a different story. Anyway, so I'm going to the Eiffel Tower. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm living my best life. And I've got goosebumps. Like this is like been a vision of mine for years. And so to be there in person, it was like, really soul fulfilling and I get my photo onto the Eiffel Tower I'm like classic tourist I'm like, all right mission go sort myself out for a picnic so I'm walking to the grassy area there and it's packed with people everywhere and the thing that really stopped me for a while to go to Paris was a lot of people were mentioning that it's unsafe and going by yourself as a woman, it just is, yeah, not ideal. And there's lots of pickpocketers and things. And I let that stop me from going. And I'm so glad that I did go by myself. However, yeah, I think that this was definitely in the back of my mind just to be aware, like, of my possessions and things while I was walking around knowing that I'm always safe and I'm always protected and my energy doesn't attract that but still also being mindful so I'm walking anyway anyway guys this person dressed in like a full black outfit charges at me like charges like charges to the point where like People around me were concerned for my well-being. I was concerned. I shut myself. Oh, holy shit, this person is about to rob me. Anyway, it was my friend from the Gold Coast. My friend from the Gold Coast. And I was like, what the heck? What the heck? How does that happen? There's so many people here. We're on the other side of the world. How does that even happen? I tried. There was people that I actually knew that were in Paris at the time that I was. And I was trying to message them to like tee up a time to meet up. And that still was impossible to work because there's just so many people. It's hard to find where everyone is at. So I bumped into someone. I met someone in Paris, guys. I predicted this. Or did I attract it? Or whatever is the case. It was so, so bizarre. And so anyway, I was fully shaking with adrenaline because I, one, thought I was going to be robbed. And then two, was like, what is, what does this mean? Anyway, we, we, he joined me for my picnic and basically we went out for dinner and I tried snails and then come back and we watched the light show at the Eiffel Tower. And it was just like such a beautiful beautiful loving evening I was like wow like this I didn't even realize that I had been manifesting this or creating this and I think that's the beauty of life is when you trust and surrender and leave yourself open to the unknown it allows for things to come in or drop into your experience that no way you could have planned for yourself right so that was my experience there crazy The next morning, I was like, I really just want to spend the day by myself. Like, I don't want to see my friends. I don't want to see anyone that I know. I just want to, like, be. And so my appointment or my tour I'd booked for myself at the Louvre was at 1 o'clock. So I just kind of had a slow morning, had nice, like, buffet breakfast walk down I was like okay I want to go do some sightseeing Notre Dame and all the other places and I'm walking around and basically this guy that looks like Red Foo Red Foo comes out (laughs) and he's like you have darling you have the most beautiful smile of all of Europe and then basically this lovely man he gives me a tour of Paris and then thank goodness I had a tour at one o'clock because He would have never have left me alone after that, but that's okay. So I was there at my tour and he's like, no, just ditch your tour and come with me. I was like, 
Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, next, as Ariana Grande would once say. So I did my tour at the Louvre and that was just so beautiful. Like such an amazing experience and I highly recommend you book the skip the line tour and you just go straight to the Mona Lisa. It's like a five minute wait for me personally. And I mean, it is people will tell you that it's small and underwhelming and overrated, but honestly, it's the story of the art that gives it the pull and the energetics that it has the story of the artist and the story of just how basically what intrigued me the most about the Mona Lisa is how something that is so small compared to like there's some paintings in the Louvre that are huge absolutely ginormous like everyone all over the world goes to see it and even though like da Vinci has passed on it didn't even become famous when he was alive that in his death and years later it has become what it has become and it's like worth two billion dollars or something crazy like this and it kind of just shown me that sometimes like we can stress ourselves out and work so hard to be like successful or be something in this now moment when really like if you just do you and just be you and just trust in your life and your journey. Like you don't have to prove or be anything other than yourself. I think that is where you'll find one, the most happiness and two, that's where you'll be the most magnetic as well. Like the Mona Lisa doesn't have to prove itself or do anything. It just is. And I think that is what makes it so magnetic to all tourists there. Hopefully that makes sense. That was my curiosity and why I was so intrigued for sure. So that was my experience there. And when I left the Louvre, it was perfect because it was raining. So I was like, thank goodness I did it in the order that I did. I went home and I bought myself some fruit and I just laid on my bed journal with the windows open just overlooking this beautiful view of Paris like I had a nap like wow I'm giving you guys all the details (laughs) and then I went to a place called Montmartre so if you're definitely planning to travel to Paris go to Montmartre it is amazing that satisfied my entire Paris dream like that was so satisfying I literally was just in love with Montmartre oh my gosh like it's so amazing you just got to go. The artists, the architecture, just so stunning and so beautiful. I had my snails again for dinner and just tried like a few other things like French fries. I was like, I was just trying to be super local cuisine as possible. So I was like, please tell me like all the things that I can't get in London, for example, or in Australia or to be as like authentic. Right. And so, yeah, that was my experience there. And literally the next morning I got up early to fly up to get the Eurostar, which is like the train back from Paris to London. So that was my Paris trip. And honestly, guys, I would a hundred percent go back there again. It was so much fun. And they said like in the Louvre, if you went and saw each painting for 30 seconds maximum, it would, or each piece of art, It will literally take you four or something months to see all of the artwork for 30 seconds. And like, you know, some things you just not even look at, some things you look at for a few minutes, right? So there's always new things to go and see and do there. However, yeah, that was my experience. And I just, I wanted to share that with you all because I could not believe that I bumped into someone, but I could believe it, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when you just know that you're going to bump into someone or you're thinking of someone and then they call. So I'm thinking maybe in the next episode or however many, right, in the next few episodes, I do a podcast on enhancing your psychic gifts or something around listening to your intuition, how to trust it. I've done a lot of how to trust yourself, but I'd really like to talk into psychic abilities because I believe personally that everyone is psychic. Now, psychic is a term that's 
thrown around and everyone thinks it's woo and witchy and whatever. But for me, it essentially is just being sensitive to energy. A lot of people who are sensitive to energy that don't realize that that is what's happening for them can find that they experience things like ADHD, anxiety, they get emotional or quite reactive, feeling lost, feeling alone, feeling depressed, feeling isolated. And all of these people are just unaware of their gifts and how to utilize them properly. So I really think that, I think I've answered my question here, guys. I think in the next episode I'll go into depth on psychic abilities and how to enhance yours how to enhance your sensitivity to energy so that one you can be more of a creator of your reality two so you can potentially pick up on red flags or potentially pick up on green flags or opportunities following the breadcrumbs to things like for me obviously I manifested Rome Paris and Croatia like That wouldn't have happened if I wasn't sensitive to energy and I wasn't aware of how things in life can present themselves in a way where it's like, that is what I created. I need to take action on it right now. Like, for example, conversations with people um, and then knowing that in that conversation, that book that they just told me about, I need to go and read because that is not just coincidence it's like actually a message so yeah I love you guys thank you so much for listening to my Paris adventures I really wanted to be a bit more not not so much vulnerable but really just yeah share with you my excitement on Paris and if you are planning on going I hope you wrote down the places that I went to and I really really love to hear your experience as well I love sharing this and I love sharing obviously personal development, fitness, health, etc. And at the same time, like this podcast is really a documentation of my journey and, and where I started to where I'm going. And to have you along with me to celebrate these little wins like this is really cool. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. I, I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you are keen on Manifestation Mastery, make sure you, if you want that discount, you go do the 10 pack of meditations on my website, generationelevation.com.au and then you'll get the 90% off for that course. And I'm so excited. I'll be sharing a little bit more about that over the next week or so. Big love and I'll see you next week. Thank you for being a part of the Generation Elevation community. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a five-star rating, written review, share, and tag me on Instagram at Elise.Riley. Until next time, keep loving, keep learning, and keep rising.